President of Defense Industry Professor Dr. Ismail Demur announced on his Twitter account the test, which is the third phase of the project, in which the eight-pack mission capabilities of the Aselsan Albatross S unmanned marine vehicle are exhibited. The IDAs in the herd were divided into sub-flocks and shared their duties. In the video of the test, it is noteworthy that Albatross S's high autonomy capabilities include automatic target detection, approaching the target with different maneuvers and engaging in a pack. In the Albatross S IDA, where autonomy capabilities are at the forefront, tests were carried out in different herd architectures in the previous stages. In the first stage, where navigation capabilities were at the forefront, the ability to automatically avoid obstacles and approach the target with a smaller herd was demonstrated. In the second stage, where the joint mission capability with different types of IDAs was demonstrated, the Albatross S herd, working together with a Selsun Safin Mir IDA, which was determined as the herd leader, intercepted the representative foreign boat. Ismail Demur on the second stage. Mir Ida is being developed within another project we are carrying out to carry a significant payload and to demonstrate an important capability for our country in the field. In our herd project, we added a new capability to the swarm architecture, allowing different Idas to join the herd. We successfully carried out the field trial with Ida in two different sizes and abilities. We created our Ida version from Albatross S and Mir Idas. The developed infrastructure allows any IDA to be added as a herd element or to be separated from the herd. Within the scope of the studies, detailed activities are carried out on environmental awareness, navigation and sensing technologies. Automatic obstacle, object detection and dynamic maneuvering can be done with data from different sensors. Ismail Demur stated that basic capabilities have been developed to perform search rescue, wide area scanning detection, escort, engagement with suspicious vehicles and the use of manned systems in situations where it is risky, and that the work on autonomous capabilities in Albatross S and IDAs will continue.